little girls in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead. You hear me? We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. He's been through so much, and lost pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. I'm just glad I chose law and not order. Big messy trial like that. Even if you was innocent, a lot of what happened can't ever be undone. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I told you, I said, go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. And you go near my daughter or step on a line once, and so will everyone else. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup, and I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. When something like this happens, I suppose. All that matters is where you are, not how you got there. Yeah, one we're looking for is still in the neighborhood. I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snip. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. <laughs> Who's there? Stay away. Don't take any more of me. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. That's what's going to happen to all of us. We grew up here. Dan and I helped out where we could, but really this was a mom and pop business. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow that y'all keep going on like this and that girl ain't gonna make it. Anything that gets you killed, or worse, it tends to come hand in hand with groups of guys in distress. Thanks for going into Crawford for me. Even if it wasn't entirely for me. Clementine, too. She's tough as hell. No one stays in Crawford unless they can pull their own weight. Otherwise, you're just another mouth to feed. Another drain on their precious resources. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Those sewers are like a maze. He's got no chance of finding his way back without a guy. I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old, even children. Maybe one day when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive, to keep on living, if this is what it takes, if this is what it's turned us into? I'm not a bad man. I don't believe in vengeance. But I've got nothing left. <laughs>